What? Did you ride your bike? You ride your bike. You ride oh. your bike. Okay, that's how we say. Okay. Uh -huh. No. I didn't. I mm. drove to school. No, I didn't. I drove. I drove. That's an irregular verb. We haven't learned that yet. Okay. Uh -huh. No, so you don't say that's a good try. <laughs> but that's not regular, that's irregular, okay? How's that? I'm gonna make it like that. Drove. Oh, drove. Okay? I drove to school. I drove to school. I drove to school. Or you could have said, you could have said, D -R -O -E. no. I, you said, did you cycle to school? No, I didn't cycle to school. Uh, that's a complete answer, right? Uh, I, I went to school by car. Mm -hmm. You see, mm -hmm. one way you can say I yeah. went, and then you can you can use the go, mm -hmm. which is the regular verb as well. Mm -hmm. But you, you did good. You said no, uh, I, I didn't go to school, but uh, I didn't cycle to school. If you wanna follow the, the the British standard, yes. If you wanna follow the American way, you say no, I didn't drive, I didn't ride to school. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. I didn't ride my my bike to school. Mm -hmm. I drove my car. I I went to school by car. Mm. I, but you did good here. I drove to school. Mm -hmm. That is, there is many different ways how you can give the same answer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. I just want you to get relaxed. Mm -hmm. and I don't want you to get stuck just one simple way. I want mm -hmm. you to understand. Yes, I drove to school. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Yes, I drove my car to school. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, yes, I went to school by car. Mm -hmm. Great. You understand? Yes. Mm -hmm. Many different ways. I want you to feel relaxed. Next one. When did you arrive at school? I when did you arrive at school? When did you arrive at school? Question mark intonation. Yeah. I, I arrived at, at night. school. I arrived at what? At night. what? At what? I arrived at what? Look. I arrived at the school. At school. I arrived at school at. Ah, at 9 30 not o'clock you don't use o'clock when you have 30. o'clock is nine o'clock nine, nine o'clock ten o'clock eleven o'clock twelve o'clock twelve thirty p.m that's nine oh. o'clock you understand <laughs> yes that's okay i arrived you good you did good here i, I arrived, arrived at, at school, school at 9 30 a.m ah that's wonderful that's okay. Those simple things is just to show that you're improving, yeah. but you still miss, you commit mistakes. And that's what I tell everybody. You study English, you practice. I think uh, well, language no have no I, two I. Mm. You can have if it is necessary. Oh. If it is required, you can have a 10. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay? As long as your grammar it is correct, that's what matters. Okay? Yes. Okay. Next one. Number when four. When did your English lesson start? Okay. My, My English lesson, lesson started okay. from. Not from at. 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 What? Nine. Nine thirty a.m. 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 M. M. Thank you. Mm. Okay. Next question. How many lessons do you have yesterday? Did you? Did you have? Yesterday. yesterday nothing no you don't say nothing you say <laughs> i didn't have you can say i didn't have class yesterday i didn't or, have i didn't I, have you, you can say i didn't have any class yesterday or you can say i didn't have any lessons yesterday okay? any lesson any lesson because lessons. Any, when you use negative when you have negative or question you use any okay so you can say here i did <sighs> Have, because you give influence. Mm -hmm. Have any? Okay. Yes. Just negative. Just questions. A negative, negative, or we make a question. Use yeah. any. When you have a positive, use some. Okay. Mm -hmm. I didn't have any what lessons. Lessons. Yesterday. Yesterday. That's one way. Okay. Okay. Another way you can say. I didn't have any. I didn't have class. I didn't have any classes. classes or, I di or you could say I didn't have any classes yesterday, or I didn't have class yesterday. Mm -hmm. Or you could say you could have said I had no class yesterday. Mm. Many different ways. I'm just giving one example here. 
Okay, did you? Did you finish your homework yesterday? Did you finish your homework yesterday? No, I didn't. You see, that's a question. Say that again for me. Did you finish your homework yesterday? Repeat. Did you finish your homework yesterday? No. No, I didn't finish but my homework yesterday. That's great. I'm finishing my homework now. You know, you use the, the simple past and you use the present continue yeah. and in perfect condition. That's awesome. She combined the two times. That's what shows that you're improving. You're understanding the structure of the language. Okay? Yeah. And when you speak English, you're going to mix many different times. Sometimes the present, past, future, and conditional and all together. And that's a mess. Mm -hmm. Okay? It's much, much more complicated. Number seven. What did you... What did you and your family watch on watch 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 TV, TV last night? No, I didn't. Okay, that's no, not... we didn't. Okay, stop just a sec. That's how we don't. That's how we don't start answer like that. No, we didn't like. No, it's like this. Okay, <laughs> I can imagine you put like this. No, because uh, you know, no, you don't say like that. What did you watch? What did you and your family watch watch on TV last night? You just say, oh, you could say we didn't watch. You don't say no, no. We did. You could just say like this. We didn't watch anything last night. Mm -hmm. We didn't watch, we didn't watch anything, you don't need to know right here. We didn't watch anything. Mm -hmm. I watched it. We watch. didn't watch, we didn't watch, okay? Mm -hmm. Because you followed the example. Yeah. We didn't watch anything, on, we, we, or we can just say we didn't watch TV last night. Mm -hmm. That's it. We didn't watch TV, TV last, last night. night. Okay? And that means you didn't watch anything. You don't have to give anything, okay? Mm. We watched our 